Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 11th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had uh, mostly chop. We spent most of the day just chopping in a range, but then surged right at the end of the day to get most of our indexes into the green. And I mean the last few minutes of the day to get them into the green. So what's going on here? Well, I think we're just climbing a wall of worry um, here, trying to rally just a little bit. Um, anticipation, um, uncertainty about um, what these uh, next data points are going to show us. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you know, uh, I think everyone probably knows, we have a CPI number coming on Wednesday morning. And as far as today goes, we've got a, a group of Fed speakers that are going to be out there talking, but pretty much nothing else to really inspire the market today. Now, if we take a look here, we're pressing up into some resistance levels in the chart uh, in the diamonds. We've got kind of a double layer of, of resistance with this downtrend uh, coming into play and the price resistance of the chart right there above. And well, um, can we continue to climb this wall of worry? I think that's possible. Um, continue to stretch up here. Let's keep in mind it's likely going to be a lot on low volume. And you also want to kind of keep in mind that there is a massive rush of people that are taking their money and moving it all to money market funds. Um, we have record inflows into money market funds because a lot of folks are working to get away from the potential danger of what comes next here in the market. And I don't know if it's going to be up or down, and I'm guessing they don't either. Um, they're just trying to read through the tea leaves of recession and um, things like that and saying, I want to protect my capital. Now, looking um, at this chart today, if we find inspiration for those bulls, that I think a press right up into here to press that resistance level really hard and right into that downtrend area would be a, an interesting level to see if we can push through. If we could push through that, that would be a huge thing today. But remember, we can always push through and then end up selling off by the end of the day um, as we wait for that CPI number Wednesday morning. So watch carefully for those potential whipsaws. Also, if those bears were to find inspiration, the support level is back down in here. And while that would be maybe a rather painful move to go back down there and test, we certainly can't rule that out. If there's something that comes up in the Fed comments today that would provide some bearish inspiration. So keep an eye on that. Um, now, I don't think we're gonna get any of those really big decisive moves until we start collecting some of this um, inflation data and maybe not even really get any big moves going until we get all the way into the Friday and find out how these big banks are going to report. So let's take a look at our SPY. SPY also continuing to chop in that range and although we had a nice little bullish day yesterday rallying to the upside and that was mostly supported um, on the love of um, big tech and big tech rallying pretty strongly here um, yesterday. Um, and it was really just the tech giants that really had um, enjoyed most of the attention yesterday. And as we rally here um, in the SPY, you notice we're pushing back up into that price resistance level again, trying to see if we can knock our head through that. Um, and if we can, I think the next level above, if we can push through that would be right up into here. Um, in the chart, which would be a pretty big point move for the for the SPY if that were possible. Once again, I don't know if we're going to have anything today that provides that 
that big inspiration to provide that big upside move. And we may wait until later this week to get that going with either the inflation data or um, earnings. If those bears find inspiration today, um, again, maybe a pushback down to retest these support levels. And as I mentioned for some time here, that there was a possibility that we can just kind of slip into more of a consolidating range as we wait for the beginning of earnings. It's something we see quite often in the market. Now, one thing I'll say here about the SPY that gives the SPY a little bit of a bullish edge is this little upside trend. And we have a couple, three more days that we could chop it, um, sideways here um, to come out to that trend. So kind of keep that one in mind. So if we look at our QQQ, now our QQQ has been by far the most bullish of the market indexes. We're running up in this trend. We are, uh, have been anyway, not so much now, but we have been a little bit um, um, overextended, I should say, um, in um, the QQQ and we got that little resting pullback and they're trying to push that back higher here as we head into those numbers. But keep in mind, we still have that possibility we could chop in this range until we start to see some of those data points um, revealing uh, maybe better directions here on the market. So if we can continue to push up, I would look for this resistance area right up here as a resistance in the QQQ. And of course, support would be right underneath that area there um, for support if uh, the bears find some inspiration. If we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM also had a good day yesterday, bouncing here just a bit. Now, keeping in mind, IWM is still struggling against um, a big resistance area, a lower high here in that chart, but we did respond bullishly yesterday off of this support level and that's that big old bear trend break to the upside and we're trying hard to hold on to that so inspiration for the bulls i think would be a retest of this resistance right in here if that resistance were to break then maybe up into here and we start looking for that downtrend to provide some resistance at that point and if the bears find inspiration here today i think a retest back down here on that little support level would seem logical. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Uh, what's been interesting here in the VIX lately with volume being really low, so many, so much money being streamed out of the market into money market funds, um, that our VIX is just acting completely um, benign. Uh, it, 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 it's kind of bizarre that um, there just seems to be no concern here in the market at all. It is very light. And I don't know if some of the the big wave of zero data expiration options is affecting the way the VIX is acting. I don't know. It's just kind of an odd situation here. But yesterday, just kind of like nothing happened um, as we continue to chop around. If we take a look at our T21... 22. Now the T2122 indicator, one of the things I get lots of questions about is the T2122. And please keep in mind guys that it's it's not meant to tell us what the direction of the market is, it, but it does tell us when we are, we're reaching overbought or oversold areas. So yesterday as we rallied, this surged particularly right at the end of the day surged back to the upside this morning we're getting a little bit of bullish gap up so it's very possible here this morning we could be back up here again in the bearish reversal zone now that doesn't say that we immediately have to sell off what it says is we should be watching if we're long stocks we should be looking for that opportunity to maybe take profits and we should be watching for the opportunity that if the bears were to come back in that that gives us that that short side exposure um, here in the market now that being said with all the data points coming our way i think that's really uncertain as to what comes next here in the market as a matter of fact we could get lots of price action around that CPI number, PPI numbers, and then of course the big bank earnings. So as we press and climb this wall of worry um, with these data points up here, just kind of keep in mind, we may be reaching a little bit of a stress point here in the market where we've kind of stretched a little bit too far 
pressing into those resistance levels and we might see a little bit of pullback that could occur at any time so kind of keep that in mind um, what it tells us is if those bulls find that inspiration well we're we we still have upside opportunity uh, for sure here in the market but we've also opened a very big opportunity to the downside if those bears were to find something to grab a hold of and then if we take a look at our t2108 although we were nice and bullish yesterday boy we didn't get a major improvement here in our t2108 certainly we did move up um, in that chart and so we've held this price support i'm going to give that to the bulls um, they did push that higher here we've got 36 37 percent of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving averages and as you can see we've got resistance right above here that we've not been able to break through and of course we still have this downtrend here that we're still challenged by as well so although we did move up it was a marginal move up yesterday and really didn't resolve much of anything but i'm still going to give the edge to the bulls and if we take a look at our t2107 again giving the edge to the bulls here we held this support level and that was a good thing here for the market we still haven't broke this uh, downtrend as you can see and if we can find a little bit more bullishness here in the market retested these resistance levels up here certainly looks possible and again i'm going to give this one to the bulls just an ever slight edge to the bulls on this uh, about 43 and a half 44 percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average when we take a look at uh, momentum t2101 t2101 momentum is just continuing to drift um, because well there's not a whole lot of momentum when we're waiting for big data points and volume is so low so we're not getting um, a whole lot of good readings out of that chart if we take a look at our economic calendar for today well our economic calendar is uh, well just boring 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 although they sh only show here on um, um, one Fed speaker here today. There's actually a, a, a list of Fed speakers today. There's uh, five or six that will be talking today. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got um, NFIB small business optimism not likely to move the market at all and then we've got a three-year note auction to be paying attention to but other than that it is dead quiet and everything everything will be focused on uh, this data for tomorrow morning we've got fed speaker we've got the cpi here in the morning um, that'll be the big data of the day whether that'll move us around now i i've I don't know if we're going to get a whole lot of activity out of the Fed minutes here. It would seem unlikely. But the, the Fed has been very, very clear. We're going to raise our rates 25 basis points. Um, and then we'll see what happens from there. Um, but, you know, we always get some volatility. We always get that wait and see um, as we wait for that number to come out. So you'll want to kind of plan for those things for tomorrow. As we look at our earnings calendar, very light on our earnings calendar today. Not a whole lot of inspiration going to come from there, but I did come up with a couple of notables here today to pay attention to. Most notable will be um, KMX, um, KMX report CarMax. A nice pop here in CarMax here this morning on their earnings. Um, breaking this downtrend, you'll want to kind of watch that closely because we are pressing just right back up here into price resistance on kmx and then the the other one today would be aci and looks like aci is trying to pop up again this morning um it's been on a rally we've been seeing a lot of the grocery outlets in fact we've been seeing this entire sector the consumer defensive sector um, showing lots of strength here recently um, and I think it's just the big dividend payers um, people looking for a little bit of safety now um, 
just keep in mind ACI has got a big resistance level here in the chart so got some work here to do before I would really say that becomes much of a bullish chart let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you can click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that that helps the channel to continue to grow and I know guys with a daily video it gets really monotonous um, you know typing something out um, in the comments but if, even if it's just something very very brief it counts as interaction with the video and um, the more interaction that you get the algorithm says oh people people are responding to this video so they show it to more folks so thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that I do truly truly appreciate it let's take a peek at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. And please keep in mind that we also have a little bit of saber rattling going on. China really increasing their um, their um, saber rattling thing with um, war games in the waters between China and Taiwan, um, raising the stakes there. That's something we want to be watching. Of course, the situation um, over there in Ukraine continues to be very, very problematic. And then um, last night, um, we had a big um, surge in oil. I mean, not oil, in gold. Gold surging up. China has been buying massive quantities of gold and um, they're five straight months of buying up uh, tons of, of gold. So keep an eye on that. Um, gold came back, found support and is bouncing higher here this morning. I think that is worth keeping an eye on. Um, and also I would keep an eye on silver. Silver, although it is a really stretched out here in the short term, broke through this resistance and boy, it just doesn't want to sell off continuing to push on up to the upside and having said that i think we have to be taking a look at copper here copper trying to break this downtrend a little bit of a nice little rising pattern here a little upside trend kind of get through this resistance but i do think copper might be worth putting a, a couple eyes on to see whether or not you want to pick up some of that as it works to break that downtrend here in the chart so precious metals by the way you may want to instead of gld if you want to buy um, um, physical gold which uh, i think is more important than paper gold of like gld take a look at stocks like phys this little resting pullback in here if that pushes on up here today might be an interesting purchase in there on uh, physical gold and then there's also um uh, physical silver that is really stretching out here moving to the upside you might want to take a look at that um, take a look at some of these stocks that uh, continue to set up um, Spotify holding up nicely here and you see I've got a price alert on this and yesterday it was just bouncing back and forth in that price alert nice little upside trend if we can find that bullish inspiration in here watch for Spotify to maybe move on higher I had mentioned Disney yesterday yesterday in the morning prep and Disney um, popping through an alert as you can see holding in there that nice little trend and support area popping through nice bullish engulfing candle let's see if that can push on through now remember guys as you're looking at these charts showing this bullishness make sure you take a look and note when their earnings dates are going to be because there are stocks like um, stocks like five uh, fiver uh, or excuse me Pfizer looking good pushing to the upside in here um, gonna report on five two breaking down trends really good price pattern 
you'll want to keep an eye on those um, around those 50 day moving averages that can provide resistance or a pop through of support. But then just keep in mind if those earnings are really, really close, you want to be paying attention to those. Um, and Pfizer's got plenty of time here, but there are stocks that are getting ready to report here soon. And you'll want to be keeping an eye on that. And one of the things that I really, really like about T2122 is I can actually put that earnings date right there on the chart. So I can be keeping an, a close eye on that. And that's going to be very important as we come into the next uh, round of earnings. Take a look at the emerging markets ETF here, guys. Um, EEM. A uh, very nice pattern here, pushing up in the chart, holding price support. I would look for that next opportunity to the upside here. If you kind of squint your eyes and look at it careful with all the gaps that this has, you guys can probably see that inverted head and shoulders type pattern setting up in um, emerging markets. Um, another chart that I think continues to look just really darn good is uh, Palo Alto, Pan W holding up in this pattern. We did push back and test the support again, but you can see those bulls are trying to push that on through to the upside. I would keep a close eye on those. I would also really keep a close eye on oil. Um, oil had the big surge to the upside on that OPEC decision. It's kind of stuck in a price range. This is the XLE um, sector ETF on um, energy. And you can see kind of stuck in this range, but this is a bullish pattern. And it may just require a little bit more rest before it finds that opportunity for that upside trend. Um, here in XLE. So watch that one closely. If OPEC continues to restrict, restrict those oil supplies, then we would expect prices to go up there. And there's a lot of stocks out there showing bullishness. Take a look at um, OXY. OXY is Warren Buffett has been buying this thing like crazy. As a matter of fact, um, um, owns about 50% of OXY now. And um, as you can see, moving up in this beautiful pattern here, uh, breaking that downtrend, pulling back to find price support. I would say the trend might be out here someplace. We may need a little bit more rest, but watch for that opportunity. We're seeing stocks like um, uh, ConocoPhillips um, holding in those same kind of bullish patterns, um, ExxonMobil looking good breaking down trends holding up here in support levels and that opportunity that we could soon find that trend and move on higher here in oil so watch those carefully so with that guys um i want to wish you oh i should make mention um amd now i have a little bias in here because i have held amd for some time big pop on amd yesterday it found that beautiful trend um, recovery off of that just found that trend popping back through some support if that can rest back here maybe just a little bit toward that trend again look for that next opportunity to pick up amd um, nvidia also had a good day yesterday moving up again it was big tech had a pretty good day um, holding in there nicely and trying to push through notice this nice little consolidating area and moving in this trend there is that opportunity that can push on through and just continue to move to the upside here in nvidia so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here thank you so much for the support of the channel i truly appreciate it be safe be careful remember we got a lot of data coming our way try not to over trade with data like that because well there won't be much we can do about it tomorrow morning with that number coming out before the bell um, whatever reaction happens um, it's going to happen to us and we can't protect ourselves much around that so kind of keep that in mind so be careful be safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day everybody.